Welcome everyone. I would like to show you in this video how to create a graph out of your attribute table. And as you can see here, we are now at the exercise number 11b. And in this exercise, we are confronted with a layer of leases. And as you can see here, by right clicking and open the attribute table, there's some information for that feature. As you can see here, the star sum of the stand value. If you don't know what is a stand value, just look on the prior video in this series. And um, I would like to create a graph out of that and add that to my layout, which is a quite nice feature to have if you would like to yeah, build some custom maps or something like that. So first of all, um, we'll go with a view and say we would like to create a graph. So graphs create. Now you can see this dialog, which is not that complicated as it looks like. So uh, you would like to create a typical vertical bar, maybe for this, uh, for the sum of the stand values. You can also go with a horizontal bar or whatever you like. Uh, but for this case, you only have five or six values. I think five values. Um, you should stick with the vertical bar, which will totally fit our needs. So choose the vertical bar, and we will concentrate on the leases uh, layer. Uh, the value field, which uh, should be presented, is the sum of the stand value. So there is a first view on the um, upcoming upcoming graph. But what you don't like to have maybe is that, yeah, normally every, everyone will say you need a legend for your, uh, for your graph, but actually this legend looks a little bit, yeah, bad. So um, we will not add that legend, legend to a graph. We will just stick with this graph, but we would like to create an X label field. Um, the X labels here, are the lease IDs, so you will lease, uh, you will give it maybe also that name here. Um, actually, that's it for the moment. You can you can play around a little bit. That's true. So, but you should keep to a quite simple and very easy to read and common set of a graph. So, not change this here to maybe top representation of your horizontal axis and something like that. So keep it simple. Um, well, let's stick to the next dialog. Um, there you can choose a title. So um, I think this is the lease values here as the title. The footer, due to the fact that this is in millions of dollars, you should also uh, add this information to your uh, to your graph. So in millions of dollars. Well, you can also create a three D graph, but let, as I have said, keep it simple and straight. So should there be a graph legend? No, there is no graph legend. I think no. So what else can we do? There are some access properties. You can choose whether the title of the left axis should be some stand value. Well, maybe go with that. Sum of stand values. Or just leave it blank due to the fact that this is a very easy graph and you can easily interpret the information which is on the left side. Um, you can interpret them as some kind of dollar values. And as you can see, um, there is one million dollar. This is the um, idea behind that. You can stay using visible or non-visible in the exercise in the book. Uh, this is leave, or this will be leave blanked, uh, blank. As you can see, it looks a little bit more easy to read. So we will leave it as blank as in the book. Uh, let's have a look on the right. Some stand value. No, we don't need that. The bottom is the lease ID. Maybe we should stick with a lease ID which is uh, separated. Lease ID is better to read. So uh, yeah, yeah, I think you are finished in the moment. So let's go on finishing. So what you can see now is the information about each lease value. 
you can adjust the size of it. So here we are, well, just five graphs. You can use it like this. What else can you do? Uh, just by right clicking on the on the header, you can say add this to my layout. Uh, in the used example here in the book, um, this is here adjusted automatically. So there's a title of your map. There's a set of um, set of leases or lease IDs, and you can now adjust the size of your graph to have a good representation of your graph. Actually, this looks a little bit shitty. If you would like to zoom in, we'll do that now. You can see that the letters here are a little bit, um, you know, well, let's say distorted and not easy to read. So we will try to fix that in a moment. Right click on that. Maybe you can have a look on the appearances, size and position. And you will adjust the height a little bit, maybe to four as well. Let's have a look on it. No, we don't want to preserve this. We'd like to distort it as well. So now the information is a little bit better to read. You know, we have just. Changed another thing, so let's go back to that one here and now make it a little bit smaller. So there you are. So in the map now, you still have, I will just increase the visible size here of the map, zoom to the whole page. In the moment, now you can see on one hand, you can see uh, the graph of the lease values. And on the other hand, you can also see your map where the lease IDs are located. So this is it for the moment. Um, bye. Um, I was pleased to show you how to create graphs. Stay tuned for the exercise number 11C, which will uh, concentrate on the task of clipping layers. Thank you very much for watching.